joining us on the official conversation couch. Mayor Joe Hawkson of Indianapolis in the hot seat this morning. So welcome back to Studio A. First time in the building in two years because of COVID. I'm glad to be back in the building. I kind of got used to the garage, but uh, this is the, 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 the conversation couch is much, much better, much better, much nicer. Sir, the city is you, your agenda, $150 million towards public safety, which includes peacemakers, investment in police, more police officers, technology. In light of that, we had an officer shot just a couple of weeks ago mm. and two young people killed. Yeah. What is left in the toolbox? What more can you do beyond the $150 million? Well, we're doing everything we possibly can to curb the violence and obviously the tragic loss of uh, two young lives uh, is profound for our community. Uh, but the truth is also, uh, Raphael, we're making progress. Uh, the numbers th thus far in 2022 uh, are a little bit better than they have been uh, the last two years in particular. Uh, now, we're not making any judgments. We're not saying uh, victory is at hand. But I do think that the investments we're making you know, are starting to make a difference. Any loss of life is a tragic loss of life. Uh, and we want to do everything we can to prevent that. Uh, and that's why this type of historic investment in public safety I hope that by the end of this year, you and I will be able to sit on this couch and talk about the successes uh, and not those instances where people have tragically lost their life. I'm confident that you'll be back on the hot seat here on the conversation couch in the months to come. Yeah. Have you had a chance to speak to the uh, family of the officer who was shot? Yeah, actually, uh, not only did I go by uh, just the day after uh, that uh, unfortunate incident, but I spent most of the afternoon yesterday afternoon with the family. and. The officer is recovering well. Um, obviously, when you are shot serious through the throat, injury. that's serious. a serious injury. Yeah. But um, I, I'm optimistic. It's uh, a family of faith, and uh, and I hope uh, I hope recovery will be quick and speedy. Another uh, strategy for you to sort of curb crime and also to keep young people involved, and you describe young people between the ages of 16 to 24, I wish I could be in that category, is to have summer jobs for them. You're launching that today. Tell me about that initiative. Yeah, well, we're relaunching it because we've been doing it for six years. Now, there was a one-year break uh, during the pandemic when we didn't necessarily And that have doesn't count, the pandemic. That, well, we, we, uh, we understand that, but this is an opportunity for young people in the summertime to be uh, gainfully occupied, to put some money in their pocket, to learn soft skills, hard skills, um, and maybe prepare them for a long-term career as they uh, end their high school career and look to post-secondary education. But as you just suggested, maybe the one of the best benefits is it gives them a positive That's alternative right. in the summertime get them off the streets, uh, and uh, hopefully make our, uh, our community a, a little bit safer. And Mayor, you, you've been able to find 63 employers to connect more than 1,200 young people just this summer long. So there'll be many options for young people to say, hey, if someone wants to hire me, it, there's a job available. Yeah, and, and it's easier than ever before. They need to just go to projectindy.net and uh, look at the, uh, the number of employers who are willing to offer them opportunities. And uh, they can pick and choose uh, whether it's uh, the wage rate that they may be receiving or whether it's uh, their interest in a long-term career. We hope they take advantage of this, uh, this program uh, to help them along the path of decision-making for the future. And we know that you can learn a lot of soft skills, right? Being on time, uh, being productive. There are things you can learn that will carry on beyond that 16 to 24 age group. Yeah, knowing how to put together a resume, knowing right. how to make applications for jobs. All of those things uh, are not taught in any kind of educational back, uh, background, so uh, they learn it uh, while they're working. We're going to have to add you to our Hiring Hoosiers campaign here at WRTV. There we go. There we go. We'll, see, we'll talk to you about that. There we go. You have some promise, Mayor. If you, if that, if you want to give that up, come over to WRTV. We'll help you out. Thank you so much. Megan?